God is saying to you today, I am going to open doors for you that have been locked for a long time. Suddenly, miracles will happen in your life. Healing and restoration are being released. Your greatest days of productivity and prosperity are on the horizon. Type 1010 to receive it. Today's verse. See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. For I know the plans have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. You may not understand how it's going to happen, but if God said, it will be done, there's not a power in this universe that can stop. The plan that God has for you. Keep trusting God. Amen. The pain, heartache, questions and sleepless nights are coming to an end. I am going to open up the windows of heaven and pour out everything you've been waiting and praying for. Blessings of love, good health and prosperity are coming your way. Rejection, resilience, receiving, and redemption are all parts of the cycle of life. Don't get distracted by the pace and miss the magnitude of what is trying to make it so you don't weigh in to get what your life. Sometimes you want, not because you don't deserve it, but because you deserve more. Seasons have reasons, and it is all necessary for your journey. Blessings always follow challenges and changes. Trust in divine timing. Type yes if you needed this. I choose to see challenges as opportunities for growth and learning. I know that challenges are an inevitable part of life, and I choose to approach them with a growth mindset. I trust that challenge presents an opportunity for me to learn, evolve, and become stronger. Type yes to affirm this. Everything is always working out for you. Tell yourself this every you feel discouraged or doubtful. Experiences are necessary for your betterment and are part of a bigger plan pushing you closer to your desires. Trust that you are not where you are today by chance but by grace. The faster you learn to see the purpose of all you go through, the more efficiently you create your way through. Type yes if you needed this. Your patience and dedication is paying off. A big breakthrough is coming. There is no need to rush things. Instead, focus on each step ahead of you. Put the blinders on and focus on your life. Don't you get lost in how everyone else is living. Focus on protecting your energy and prioritizing your needs. Resting and recharging are crucial for you to maintain the positive momentum you are generating. Lock in on your dreams and exhibit extreme patience. Type yes if you needed this. You're entering a new season where everything will start to go your way. It's time. You had enough lessons. You did you overcame so much. You believed even when it was hard to. You never gave up. You pushed through it all. Now it's your time to receive my blessings in a major way. You're going to be telling a different story very soon. A story of how miracles have found you. A success story filled with so much inspiration. You will give so much hope to so many people when they see how much you overcame and still came out on top. I am orchestrating your steps and writing your story. Be encouraged this mornings. Never give up on your dreams. I am faithful. I am going to restore you. I am going to heal you. I am going to make a way for you. I did it before and I will do it again. Stay in prayer and remain faithful. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. 
I will never change. I know you have a lot on your mind right now. Your family, your health, the health of a loved one, your finances, your career. It feels like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. You feel alone, and it's hard getting up in the morning. My child, you are not alone. Lay those concerns at my feet. Give it all to me. I will send you help, healing, and resources. I will provide. I will make it for you. All the resources of heaven are with you. Don't worry. I have your back. Will God help you during difficult times? First, he reminds us we don't have to go through struggles alone if we know Jesus. You are adopted into God's family once you commit your life to Jesus. You become a child of God. On top of that, God comes to live within you through his Holy Spirit, providing assurances of his love and hope for your future. Second, God desires to give us wisdom to help us through our problems. When we encounter trouble, many people begin trying to solve it on their own and they miss out on their best tools for solving problems. One dot talk to God first and ask him for help. Two dot find people who follow Jesus and ask for their godly advice. Three dot open the Bible and gain wisdom from his word. God has made it clear he is ready and able to help you. The Bible says, I look up to the mountains, does my help come from there? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. But sometimes your troubles continue longer than you want. God offers you strength and patience to persevere through hard times. Everyone encounters problems and life is full of them. But it's better to go through times of trouble with God than without him and his plan for you is certainly the best. God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. Commit your life to Jesus and then strive to commit your problems to him. Type 222 to affirm and share this video with five people who trust God. Comment Jesus is Lord.